what do you do? Well, you just use your RAM, you cache everything, and you say, oh, look, you know, we are number one. And then you show you the uh, number, of the amount of memory you took, and say, oh, one gigabyte, oh, no big deal, you probably have four. And I said, I don't have four, I have like two. And some computers I have one, so. It's oh, I, I have a good amount of RAM, but the problem is you have no idea how many tabs I open. <laughs> it's like, so, yeah, I start using my fair share. <laughs> For the same stories, I'm gonna be jealous to be honest, because I have to be very prudent how many I open and I always have the monitor for RAM. I'm just very conscious of. I'm actually displaying how it's taking up the uh, swap file, and then I'm closing application to use up the base. You have part of them put in well, the swap see, file. see, that, that's the real problem with it being so bloated and using more RAM. Inevitably, you wind up with Firefox if you really start multitasking that, like you're saying, it's writing everything through the swap file, which then really slows but your it's, system it's actually down. Worse. It moves my other application into the swap, so then when I oh. try to change volume and everything, that, that really slows down. And it's oh. like, open them again because the firefighter says, oh, what are you doing? And then, and then like, I, are are you the listening, Mozilla? Stop! I have to run scripts and check exactly what damage they did in terms of moving things away from RAM to disk. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's things like that. So that's the reason I got rid of Amarok as well. It's just it did too much of that. Uh, well, that, that's reasonable enough. Uh, well, one thing I was going to mention, since we mentioned the, uh, I think the one in the try to aim to reach the uh, tablets and everything because that's a growth area uh, and I think it's very easy to compete there uh, you know well against against Android and, and, and Apple they've got some chance I don't think Microsoft has got anything anytime soon to, uh, to work with I mean, have you seen any uh, what I call Vista 7 tablets recently any part of it somewhere or something I don't think uh, they even exist now they don't they're not the, Microsoft is not launching those until Windows 8 comes out. So the ones oh, that are out right now are prototypes. Yes, they're not they say, on the market. They say it was going to be touchy feely, but apparently they kind of feel a bit touchy about trying to launch these. And and I know Android 4.0 is supposed to be released quite often, quite sorry, quite soon. Uh, and yeah, I, as a matter of fact, if you're on things like the Nexus One or stuff, they're all the Google applications and stuff have been updated. You, you know Ice Cream is coming out this month. Yeah, I, heard it's kind of, I heard it's just been delayed. Um, I think I wasn't sure if it's sarcasm or not, but they say it's delayed because of the death of Steve Jobs, which sounds a bit dubious. It's probably just sarcasm or something, but uh, it was supposed to be launched with like Samsung and uh, Nexus of some sort, so they will... Uh, apparently have some something quite nice to show quite soon. And do you know the resolutions they reach on the uh, on the phones now? Some of the phones would be a thousand and twenty four uh, mm -hmm. pixels by seven hundred and. This is actually creating a real UI difficulty for mobile web because one of the universal tests you did, uh, and I I knew this was stupid when people started doing it, and I told them don't do this because this isn't going to stay this way. They would do like a, is smaller than 600 or 800 pixels or something. It's like, okay, switch to the phone UI because the resolution's small. I'm like, okay, what happens when phones get a bigger resolution? Well, that'll never happen. And now they, you know, they all have the resolution of yeah, desktops, so and none of that stuff things. works. <laughs> no loads of templates, CSS templates stick to the 600, 800. That's what I do in my site as well, so... Um, but, but that's not going to work when these start coming out, and that's going yeah, well, to that's, that's your UI problem. is going to be annoying. <laughs> I mean, increasingly, I guess it's also a problem for the uh, visually impaired people. So you know, some people will look at their phones and really have to put the stick in front of their eyes to read, uh, which is maybe an okay thing. It's just if it scales okay and if it's very visible, then people will increasingly start to have their phones right in their faces, kind of reading the the phone, putting it like a compact, some kind of a head mounted display or something. Maybe they'll just have glasses with a phone in front of it and just kind of hang it around on their... You know, their. <laughs> I mean, increasingly, I think that's going to be quite practical. They could do that if resolution is very high. And you're well, like we were talking about basically what the average user wants to do is check their email and browse the web and do so. I, I mean, this is why I disagree with people that say slates are a fad. I really do think phones and slates are the new... I just want it to work, uh, dang it, computer. You know, the I don't really need a computer, but I need a computing device. Yeah, and the rectangle with a button, we should all be very thankful to Mr. Jobs for inventing that. But it's funny you should say it, uh, Rusty, because I read an article on a Microsoft site, I can't remember, I believe it was the official Microsoft site, 
and uh, they were na- being naysayers to the death of the desktop. And I was thinking as I was reading that, well, yes, of course they would say that. That's, this is in their interest to make that remark because as far as uh, I, I, I can tell you by what I've seen with Windows 8, they believe the exact opposite. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, that doesn't surprise me, and we <laughs> we always get too. But I'm, I have to. Link, I think I linked the article before. I'll have to find it for the show notes because it was saying that you no, know, the desktop isn't dead. And I was thinking to myself, well, of course you say that because by the time your Windows 8 gets uh, pushed onto a tablet, you're gonna have two very mature uh, products already on the market. See the very, yeah. very same trend. Remember when they launched the uh, when they basically Google had Google Apps and Microsoft didn't have the Office Online ready. So they would say, oh, that's trash, you know, it's offline, it's season season. <laughs> Eventually, Google actually had pretty good uptime, and Microsoft was the rival. Actually, <laughs> since you brought up Google Docs, it's completely off topic, but am I the only one who's noticed that all the Google services seem to be lagging as of late? Can't say I've noticed. Um, to be fair, funnily enough, I've actually been using Google Docs quite a lot recently. Um, I've been doing a little bit of uh, distro hopping for a second partition. I've been using it to store my like browser bookmarks and uh, and my RSS feed uh, subscriptions as well. So I've been um, I've been using it quite often for that. It's quite handy instead of uh, having a little USB stick knocking about, which invariably I lose. Um, so I've been using it, but I haven't particularly noticed anything. I, I've noticed like it lags when I first started up. Like I clicked there, but I'm not really clicked yet. I'm having to wait on it. No, I can't say I've noticed, but I shall get back to you and I'll give it a test tonight with something. Uh, maybe it needs to be okay. larger than something of a uh, 5 or 6K, I mean, uh, Oh, and yes, I am back. I apologise for, for not being in for the last conversation. And, yeah, uh, we're basically talking about KD stuff, and you're a kind of a new user, so it's... <laughs> 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 no, I'm just joking. But uh, what I was going to talk about next was, uh, you know, did you hear about India making tablets for... They have a... I think the number is 220 million children, uh, depends on what it classifies a child in India, and they try to bring a tablet to each child in some sense. They promised a $35 tablet. Uh, they delivered, I think, something that's costing now $61, which is a very low price. And you, you then it's very funny hearing the Westerners saying, oh, you know, it's rubbish, it's not good, and people can just afford to pay 200 or 300 Is, is this the new version of the cheapy computer? Like, you, you remember the 8-bit computer project for Third World? That, oh, you know? old seer. One left for a child, or I, I think there is one person left the oil PC project, or something maybe to be associated with the Indian uh, initiative, the push, which basically uses an Android that I hear is actually a very open version of it, and you get lots of free applications to it. So it's kind of it's it's really quite nice in the sense that even though it's Android and it's like a tablet and everything, I think it's uh, reasonably open. It's supposed to be more educational. And they will be able to make it in very big quantities. And in this country, you know, they're not going to pay to 500 for you know loads of uh, of tablets, you know, buying them from Apple or something. Because you know, people people think in terms of how much they have in the West. They don't think in terms of what India can afford uh, to order. I think the numbers they talk about is maybe uh, several millions of them to be manufactured quite soon. Uh, which sounds like, whoa, that's a lot of Linux machines. But then again, you actually think about the number of tablets and phones running Android anyway. You just think that's that's pretty small. You know, we already have like a hundred, I think, one hundred and fifty million Android devices out there. So, yeah. It's, uh, right. it's, it's and on, on the same subject, have we heard anything more about the Raspberry Pi? Um, I, I heard a few things. It's it's just basically a. Uh, I think the cost was down to about fifteen pounds or five pounds, maybe. Or and it's supposed to be an educational experimental thing. Uh, yes, yeah, the last time I read, uh, the prototype was uh, been developed. I think we got as far as that, and that was going back in about four months ago, I think, or three months ago, something like that. I um, still saw something about it this month, so I know they still work on it. It's, it's a mean, real headline. Well, it's um, it's only a project I was very interested in. And, it moves on very nicely just to a very quick mention of the distro that I've been looking at, um, which is quite unique to any other distro, uh, which will be covering probably more in the next show, or certainly on my site. And that's uh, Doodoo Linux, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's one topic we don't top on, uh, touch on very often. Um, and it, I, I can't see uh, Rusty or Roy uh, sitting down for hours and examining this uh, particular distribution, but it's a, 
basically one aimed at uh, younger children and uh, it's got an educational theme to it as well. And it's, well I, I, I told you on Google Plus what I think about that, but that's... I, I, and I, I, I'm a little cynical when it comes to that. I, I get cynical in a lot of the educational stuff. I'm like, you know, kids...